Hey guys, so the Springboks will be playing their first game of the Autumn Internationals against Scotland for this upcoming week. And yeah, I thought what better time than now to give you guys my 23-man squad for the Springboks. Before we do this, make sure guys to click the like button, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And yeah, let me know Let me know also in the comment section your 23-man squad to face off against the Scottish because they will definitely be a tough team to go against. So for my front row then, I've selected the likes of Oxen Chair, number one. Following him, I've then gone with Bongi Monombi at number two. And to finish it off, I've gone with Vincent Cook at the number three spot. So that is my front row that I've selected for the Springboks. I think this is probably the best front row that the Springboks can go with. You know, with Francis Moherber out for the whole of the Autumn Nations, it does mean that, you know, Vincent Cock doesn't have to step up there in terms of that tight head spot. So that's the reason why I've selected them there. Bongi Monombi, you're going to keep him in the hooker spot, I believe, uh, to start for this game. I mean, if you wanted to, you could put Malcolm Marks there, but I just think Bongi... It's just more kind of, you know, used to now starting the game. So that's the reason why I've set to him. And then, yeah, you're definitely going to box and Che because, you know, he's in the conversation for being one of the world players of the year, I believe. So why not have him in your starting lineup? So he's my he's my loose head for this game. So with the locks in, this is where I decided to go with Eben Ed Smith at the number four and Ruhan Nortier at the number five. I believe this is the best combination the box can go with to start off this Autumn Nations. You know, we do have a lot of locks that are now available for the Spring Locks, so there's, it's a good dilemma to be in with the likes of RJ Snyman as well as Franco Mostert now available for selection. And both of them can definitely, you know, definitely start in this game. And <laughs> I wouldn't be really mad about it because both of them are world-class locks in their day. I just think we've seen more with Eben Smith and, you know, Ruhan Norte together, you know, so far throughout the rugby championship. And those two were brilliant. So I want to kind of keep that combination just for the meantime. But I wouldn't mind, you know, maybe for the England game or even like the, you know, the Wales game, maybe switching up there because, you know, at, at times you want to give some minutes towards RJ Snyman as well as Franco Moster. But for now, I think Eben Smith and Rohan Nortier have to be the starting duo for this game in Scotland. So for the loose forward trio then, this is where I decided that I'm going to go with Sia Khaleesi at number six, Peter at the toy at number seven, and Jasper Visa at the number eight spot. I think that's really the, the loose forward trio that I think is the most likely one to be selected as well. Again, if you really want to, you can go with Eric Lowe in replace of Jasper Visa. But I just tr I, I truly believe Jasper Visa is just a bit better than Eric Lowe. And again, you have Cameron um, Hanekom actually coming into the side now, which is a interesting debate to see if he'll get some minutes or not. I think it's a bit too early to put him straight into the starting lineup. But yeah, you never know. You never know. But again, you're not going to switch out Sia Khaleesi or Peter Statoy. So those two remain in terms of the loose forward trio. So for the back line then, for my 9-10 combination, this is where I have the side to go with Corbus Reinach at the number 9 spot, as well as Andre Pollard at the number 10. I think these two, I think, are the most used to you know, kind of playing within Europe. That's kind of a one of the main kind of reasons why I slept to them. You know, with Kobus Radek obviously playing for Nor uh, Northampton Saints, and, you know, of course with uh, Montpellier as well. Then you have, you know, Contra Pollard also playing for Montpellier, and then now playing for Leicester Tigers. They're kind of used to kind of being in the environment of Europe and kind of going, I mean, I... You know, they've obviously traveled to, to Scotland as well. So they're a bit more used to that compared to the likes of, you know, Grant Williams, Jenny Hennox, and even Manny Lebox. So that did come into my decision making. The other reason why is just because I think Hunter Pollard is just a better, will be a better player on the day. And he kind of, I would choose him to go against Scotland rather than Manny Lebox. I know Lebox did go against Scotland, of course, in the World Cup. But I just think Hunter Pollard is more suited to go against Scotland, particularly at Murray Field. I just think it's, it's a different environment to what you'll what Manny would be used to. So um, I would prefer Andre Pollard there. And also, we haven't seen Andre Pollard play since, what, the New Zealand games, really, because Manny Lebok, of course, played both against the Pumas. So I want to see Pollard available. And again, he is just a great, great player on the day, and his ticking will be on point. So another reason why I selected him. For the center combination, then, this is the, the easiest one kind of to go with. Um, I've gone with uh, Damien Delande, number 12, and Jesse Creel, number 13. Just simple as that. Real, not too much fuss there. Again, if you wanted to, you could go with Andre Hastazen or with Kanye Wan. But I just think for this game against the Scottish, you go with your. This is the first game of the Autumn Internationals as well. So I would expect you know Razi to select his best team, and I think that's what I I would do in this situation as well. So that's why I've gone with Damien Delande and Jesse Creel because I think those two were really good for the rugby championship. For my back three, then this is where I had decided to go with Curly Aronsa at the number eleven spot, then Chesley Kobe at the number fourteen. And to finish it off, Aplia Fasi at the number 15 spot. I think that's the best, I think, you know, kind of back three that they can go with. Curly Aronson was probably the one out of the three, which you can make a debate maybe to put out, uh, kind of take out of the side, and then maybe put Makazoli and Pimpi in, just because, you know, you might want to switch there. I don't I don't think Curly Aronson was, 
like amazing, I'd say, from the rugby championship. I think like you know, Sheldon Kobe was better out of the two winners in the rugby championship, and I think Mpimpi, you know, he's you sort of braced there. You know, I think the last time the box did actually play in Murrayfield, so he's definitely used to being there. But I think for now, I'd still keep Curly Irons. I just think he's he's just too good of a player not to kind of, kind of have him near starting lineup. So he is in there for me. Cheslin Kobe, without a doubt, is going to be the number 14. He's just, you know, one of the world's best, really, in that position. And, yeah, it just is a, is a great player to watch, really. And was great for the rugby championship as well. Didn't get to play every game, but still had a great still had a great tournament. So I'd like to see him involved in the Scotland game. And, yeah, I believe Fassi, man, he's just really grown into that role. And with the likes of Debbie Williamson now not available for the box, I just think it makes it even more certain that Razzie should go with Apia Fassi there. Again, he could go with Lula Roo and get some experience, but I just... I think Fassi, you just want to give him that 15 jersey and just let him loose because he's just been really good to watch so far. So, yeah, that would be my my starting 15 right there. In terms of the bench, this is where I've actually gone with a 6-2 split. I think that's what Razzie should do and what I what I expect him to do. And this is what I want him to do because I've gone with Malcolm Marks as the replacement hooker, which is a pretty easy selection. He's one of the world's best, really. So he's definitely there. Then I went with Gerhard Stink up there, as well as uh, Thomas Dottoy. So that's my, I guess, my front row replacements there. And again, if you wanted to, you can maybe switch it up. But I just think Gerhard Stink up and Thomas Dottoy is probably the best selections. I know they have they have selected Low actually, who's actually coming to the side now. But I just think Thomas Dottoy is a better player. So that's the reason why I've chosen him there. For the rest of the players, though, this is actually where I've gone with RJ Snyman and Franco Mostert, as well as Quaker Smith. I would like to see the Springboks try this out, where they have both RJ Snyman as well as Franco Mostar come off the bench. You know, both of them can obviously replace Evan Smith as well as, you know, Ruha Nortier. But they can, you know, Franco Mostar can also come on and kind of play as a six or seven. He's done that before in the past. So he offers you a bit of cover in that sense. And, you know, Quaker Smith can also cover, you know, really all the loose forward spots, really. So he, he offers you kind of a lot of versatility there. So that's the reason why I've gone with them three. If I wanted to, I could just go with Marco van Staden or Eric Lowe in replace of Franco Mostert. That's an easy switch, but I want to see Franco Mostert get some minutes in this game if he is available and fit. So that's the reason why I've gone with him there. And yeah, just I like the 6 2 split as well. But yeah, for my, I guess my replacement, I guess Jess Bax really, I've gone with Grant Williams off the bench as well as Willie LaRue. Again, need that experience off the bench, and Grant Williams can cover that kind of winger spot if need be. And yeah, just, yeah, I like, I kind of like that 6 2 split a lot. So yeah, that's my 23 man squad there, guys. Just let me know what you guys think about that. It, it was a tough decision because there's there's some players which I think it's just a guarantee that they're going to start, but there's others who are now coming back into the side. And it just it depends on if you think they should start straight away or kind of come off the bench first and then come into the action. That's kind of what I thought with some of these players here. But anyway, let me know. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your thoughts are on my squad. Let me know what your 23 man squad would be. I want to see your 23 man squad, guys. Let me know in the comments below. Like the video, guys. Subscribe to our channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.